Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through how to connect Power BI to an Oracle database. This is a must-know skill if you're working with Oracle data and want to start building powerful dashboards in Power BI. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to easily set up the connection and bring your Oracle data straight into your reports, so you can start visualizing and analyzing it in all sorts of new ways. Let's jump right in and open up Power BI on your computer. If you don't have it installed yet, you can always download the latest version from Microsoft's website. With Power BI open, take a look up at the menu bar and click on the Home tab. That's where most of the basic tasks start and it keeps things nice and organized. Now from the Home tab, find and click the Get Data button. This is a big part of working in Power BI. It's like the front door letting you bring in data from all kinds of sources. Go ahead and give it a click. You'll see a whole list of different data sources, but to quickly zero in on what we want, just start typing Oracle into the search box. Power BI will instantly filter the options as you type, so you don't have to scroll through that long list. It's a small thing, but it definitely saves time. Once you see Oracle Database appear in the filtered options, click on it. This tells Power BI exactly where you want to pull your data from. At this point, a prompt pops up now. Depending on your system, you might get a message or even a link to learn more. If you do, don't ignore it. Power BI sometimes needs a little extra help to talk to Oracle Databases because it relies on a special driver or patch from Oracle itself. So if you see the Learn More link, go ahead and click it. This will take you straight to Oracle's website where you can download the necessary driver. It's not hard at all, just follow Oracle's instructions, and once the patch is installed, you'll be ready to keep moving forward. With the driver or patch taken care of, you should see a window where Power BI asks for your server details. Here, where you tell Power BI exactly where your Oracle database lives. In the server box, type in the name or the address of your Oracle server. If you're not sure exactly what to enter here, it might be worth checking with your database administrator or maybe your IT department. Getting this right is important, it's like dialing the correct phone number to reach your data. After you've entered the server name, take a moment to look below for the option to select Import. This step determines how Power BI will bring in your data. Import is recommended for most users because it actually brings a copy of the data into Power BI itself, which means your reports will run faster and you won't need a constant live connection. So select, don't worry, if your setup needs something more advanced, you can always try other options later. Finally, once you're ready, click OK. Power BI will now try to connect to your Oracle database using the details you provided. This part might take a few moments, especially if it's your very first time connecting or if the server is busy, but usually you'll see your Oracle tables and data pop up in just a minute. And there you have it, you've just connected Power BI to your Oracle database. Now you're ready to start selecting data, building charts, and bringing your insights to life. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or if you run into any issues, just drop a comment below, I'm here to help. And don't forget to subscribe for more step-by-step -step Power BI tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.